Aladdin poor the wizard found, who moved from cavern's mouth a stone, then bade him go beneath the ground and pace through unknown realms alone, till from a niche he bore away a lamp extinguishing its ray. The youth obedient instant hide, when fruits luxuriant met his sight. The white were pearls in snowy pride, diamonds the clear of brilliant light. For red the rubies dazzling blaze, whereof Aladdin gathered store. Then on the lamp in rapture gazed, and from its niche the treasure bore. Regained his home and seized anon Aladdin's lamp, and cried, Straight bring me food! The genie instantly was gone, but soon again before him stood. The youth, his fear-struck mother bore, as plates of silver met his view, of, vi of viands choice, containing store, and cups with wine of rosy hue. Aladdin next by chance decried the sultan's daughter, witching fair. Love's high control was not denied, he sought to gain the beauty rare. Before the sultan lowly bent, his mother and the jewels spread. The prince, astonished, gave consent, and all Aladdin's terrors fled. In gorgeous robes the youth arrayed, vaulted anon his prancing steed, and of the glittering gay parade, right joyous smiling took the lead. With loud huzzas then rang the air, which louder pealed as gold amain, by slaves was cast for mob to share that glittered on the vasty plain. Ne'er dreaming lamps so worn and old worth more worth commanded than Peru. Our princess bartered wealth untold for the magician's lamp quite new. So when this change the eunuch made, in scorn the rabble gan to shout, beholding such a silly trade, they deemed the wizard fool and lout. O'erwhelmed with grief, Aladdin prayed once more the genie would life would spare, beseeching he might be conveyed where late had stood his palace fair. Then swift as thought, the spirit bore the youth through airy realms above, who lighted safe on Afric's shore and gained the chamber of his love. His foe, the poison quaffed and fell, a writhing form the wizard lay. Aladdin knew how worked the spell and tore from vest the lamps his prey. The princess, with a panting heart, Flew to receive affection's kiss. Thus met they never more to part. From that hour sealed their lasting bliss.